After they split up, Ian joined a second great band, The Faces, fronted by Rod Stewart. He's played with just about everyone since. The Rolling Stones and Bob Dylan are just two dropped names. His lifelong quest for a laugh is set out in his autobiography, All the Rage. The amazing thing is you remember so much. Well, there's years I probably don't remember at all, but I haven't written about them. <laughs> and the, also, the other thing is that you've been a success almost from day one, but have been broke on numerous occasions well see it's you know hills and valleys it's you know constantly things are looking up i'm mr micawber you know <laughs> and you don't you know, i forget the, the 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 bad times but there were times when you were a household name and you chronicle them in the, the book finishes with them this record company didn't pay us right this record company didn't right. pay us either that's right and this manager is still you know has our, our money yeah that's Small faces were real victims, you know. And the worst thing, though, even worse than the people who stole our money, was that uh, the, the, two, the last two years of the Small Faces, our records were remixed by Andrew Oldham and released, you know. In other words, our product was, you know, the, our, our music was messed up. That's, that's worse than being stolen from, I think, you know. You've been in the music for a long time now. Yeah, 36 what, years or something. What does emerge is that the enthusiasm for the music remains oh, undimmed. Yeah. Yes. Do you Thank still, God. Do you still feel the passion? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if I can't get on stage and lose myself, I don't know what I'd do, you know. And it starts, the story starts in West London, Middlesex, in what sounds like a small house. And yeah. you find someone that will deliver you a Hammond organ for free. Unbelievable. And they delivered it for two weeks. I couldn't move it. But I didn't have to pay anything. Of course, I had to break it to my dad. Because suddenly, instead of a, a you know, dining table in the, in the dining room, there was a big Hammond organ and a Leslie cabinet, and the dining table was in the corner. But um, it worked. And he eventually signed papers to get my own Hammond. Oh. I had such fun. I did. <laughs> the, they always say that it's sex and drugs and rock and roll. And it was. It was certainly rock and roll and drugs and sex. But it was rock and roll first. It was the music. It was the blues first. But you, but you are very honest in here that the life did lead you to drugs, and you used oh, yeah. the word addiction about yourself. Oh, yeah. I was very badly addicted, yeah. And it seems that you tried everything. Was it, were you addicted to everything? No. Um, I didn't... Actually, I tried heroin, but I didn't... Uh, I, I, I knew that that was, that was the wrong road. I mean, I did get very badly addicted to cocaine. I mean, real bad, but... You know, I was lucky. I had the right woman with me, you know. Thank God for Kim. And uh, I came through it, you know. All the Rage is published by Pan. Ian McClagan, thank you. Thank you, David. <laughs>